You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrink. Listen now as Marsha explores the mystery of angels. Who are angels? How can they help us? And how can we connect with these wonderful beings of light to enlighten and enrich our lives? So now, please welcome the host of Spiritual Awakenings, Marsha Hebrink. Welcome, everybody. I'm Marsha Hebrink, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, and we're coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing, my favorite topic. And uh, I'm just so glad you're here. This is uh, the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio that you're listening in on. And I uh, hope you're having a really good day. And uh, despite everything that's going on out there in the world, it is kind of a strange time to be alive on the planet. But you know, any time on the planet is a good time to be alive on the planet. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm making the best of it. And uh, I have the sweetest thing that happened just a little bit ago. Um, I had yesterday a hummingbird that came to my office window and he just looked in the window at me and just hovered and I was like oh I think he's trying to tell me something so I have my hummingbird feeder and I hadn't filled it up yet you know for the year and here we are coming up on the springtime now in the midst of it actually and so I went out and got it this morning my husband and I got it all cleaned up and got it filled up with some new uh, nectar for the hummingbird and put it out there this morning and just a few minutes ago the hummingbird came and hovered at my window again and it was like he was telling me thank you he found the hummingbird feeder and got a little taste of that nectar now hummingbirds are a sign of joy and so that's a good thing for me to see that hummingbird I think you know during this whole pandemic thing that we're dealing with uh, no matter what uh, country you're from what city you're in what you know doesn't matter if you're in the country or in a in a big city um, this is a time when we all have to look for the joy um, a little bit harder you know, look for it a little bit more than perhaps we ordinarily do. I think getting out of the busy times, you know, some of us are more busy. Um, I have to say people working in healthcare right now are pretty maxed out. Um, but others of us who are working from home, you know, it's it's a different pace than what we were used to. And so we have to kind of find uh, the pockets of joy, uh, you know, amidst the quarantine, you know, amidst the whole uh, process of being at home, a lot of us. So uh, I'm grateful to have a home to be in, you know, right now during this time. And I hope wherever you are that you're safe and that you're well. So what can help us to feel a little better in the midst of this whole uh, dilemma we're dealing with on this planet? I think it's the angels. Uh, Of course, there are lots of things. Nature is so, so healing for us right now. I um, want to encourage everybody to stay grounded. Uh, the angels keep giving me that message uh, for everyone. Make sure you stay grounded. Go out and dig in the dirt if you can. Plant some flowers. You know, pick up your yard if you have one. Just go out and just breathe some fresh air uh, right outside 
you know, your door if you can, if you're able to do that. Um, the earth has a lot of healing for us right now and a lot of stability. But the angels, too, have a lot of healing and a lot of stability that they can bring to us. And um, I wanted to talk today about an angel uh, who is really a multi-purpose angel. Um He's thought of often as the finder angel, quote unquote finder, F-I-N-D-E-R, that if there's something that you've lost, if there's something that you're missing, this is the angel you call upon to find what you've lost or what you're looking for. And that is Archangel Shemuel. And Shemuel's name is spelled C-H-A-M-U-E-L. Shemuel is one of the major archangels in kind of the group of 12 that we often hear about. And Shemuel is a beautiful, beautiful being of light. So I want to share on the show about Shemuel and and some of what I've learned about working with Shemuel. And I also have some beautiful stones and crystals here for you to tell you about. And on the last show, I talked a little bit about stones and crystals that are good for our pets, for animals. Now, of course, they're good for people, too. So if you don't have a pet, don't worry about it. Um, Last time we talked about grounding stones, base chakra stones, and I believe we had mentioned black tourmaline, which is one of my favorite stones, bloodstone, and smoky quartz. So those are root chakra stones. And so today on the sh- on the show, I want to talk about some sacral chakra stones. Now the chakras are swirling vortices of energy they emanate outward from the body in terms of chakras two through six okay outward in the front outward in the back and in terms of chakra one and chakra seven that will be your root chakra is one your crown chakra is number seven those two chakras emanate above the head for the crown chakra on the top of the head and then down from the root chakra between your legs into the earth, connecting with the earth energy, bringing that earth energy on into your energy system to help you. Um, Just as the crown chakra helps connect us with spiritual energy. So your second chakra is your sacral chakra and your sacral chakra either you or your pet we all have sacral chakras and that one is connected to sexuality reproduction creativity Um, the sacral chakra is a, a, a very very important chakra and I also you know, I have to say with pets, sometimes I will find that that chakra is kind of low. It just, you know, when I'm doing uh, animal Reiki with a dog or with a cat, sometimes that one will just kind of not be resonant the way I want it to be. And so I can use a stone, and you can too, to help get that chakra back in good working order. So the stones and crystals, um, they amplify the energy of the chakra, and they help to bring it back into balance, and they also can heal the chakra as well as the body. And uh, there are many, many different types of healing stones, but I want to just mention a few of them today for the sacral chakra and again you can use these on your pets your dogs your cats your bird or you can use these on yourself if they happen to be a stone that you feel that you need and um you know pets have the very same chakras that we have um they're just emanating from their body just like ours do and they often need some work now as i may have mentioned on the last show If you're doing a healing with a pet, you do not want to use a lot of stones. Now, if you're doing a healing on yourself as a human being or on another person, you may want to have a stone at each chakra. Certainly you can. But if you're working with a dog or a cat or a bird or another type of animal, you want to just have two or three stones, maybe even just one depends on what's going on with that pet so 
I never really use more than three with an animal, and sometimes I'll just use two. Um, and and the stones and crystals help them so much. Now, we'll talk about that a little bit more. We're going to take a quick break, and then I want to tell you about the stones for your pets and for yourself for your sacral chakra. I'm Marcia Hebrank. You're listening to Spiritual Awakenings live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations, Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back, everybody. I am Marsha Hebrink, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and tune in radio. And today we're talking about stones and crystals and spiritual healing. And golly, our our theme today, I'm not sure what our theme is. You know, it's such a crazy time. Uh, but really, I wanted to talk about stones for the sacral chakra today, uh, whether it's for a pet or for yourself. And also, I've got some information to share about Archangel Shamuel. And I'm going to pull a card later on on the show. And we'll have a meditation as well. So, stones for the sacral chakra. The first one I wanted to mention, which is one of my favorites, is carnelian. And carnelian is a stone that's kind of orangey-brown. The piece that I have in front of me is a heart-shaped stone, and it has this beautiful kind of design on it. It's it's just not like anything I've ever seen. My um, stepdaughter gave it to me as a Christmas gift a couple years ago, and I dearly love it, in part because it's from her. Um, She's a a really, really sweet person. So carnelian is a stone that will boost your energy. It'll boost your confidence. In fact, when I was first training in about 2003 with a shaman, this was a guy who had trained with a Native American shaman and with an Asian shaman, and he was very grounded. All the teachings that he uh, brought our our class were very much like what we call lower world shamanic work, and that's where you work with the animals, the power animals, and the compassionate helping spirits. And so he came to class one time, and he would come from out of town. He lived in Virginia and teach us for a weekend and he arrived to the class and he had a bag with him and he had each one of us come up to him and he reached into the bag 
and brought out a stone for each one of us who were students in the class. And there were probably about oh, maybe eight of us, something like that, eight or nine students. And so I was just waiting in line, and I thought, gosh, I don't know what he'll get from me. You know, I love rocks. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he gets me. I'm going to love it. And so I walked up to him when it was my turn, and he says, now, Marsha, put your hand out, and let me just put this stone in your hand, and you tell me what it feels like. So he did that. And I felt that stone on my hand, and it was a piece of carnelian, and I still have that stone. And he says, now put your other hand on top of it. So the stone was in my left hand, placed my right hand over it. And he said, now, what do you feel? And I began to just notice I was very energized by this stone and like kind of jazzed up, actually. And and I said, well, I just feel really jazzed up. And he said, well, that's because this is a stone that really boosts your energy. And he says, for you at this point in time, of course, this was 2003. I was raising kids. I was working full time. And oh, my golly, it was a crazy time to be on the planet for me. But um, it was exactly what I needed. So I started carrying that piece of carnelian around in my pocket. And I had more concentration, more focus, more energy than I had ever ever had and I fell in love with that stone and I still love it so carnelian uh, is a great stone for people who uh, or for pets actually who have lost the will to live now here we are during this time of great illness in our in our country and in our world so if you know someone who is really ill or you know kind of just you know bogged down and not feeling good and just sluggish or depressed this is a great stone for them uh, carnelian is easy to find you can get it online and it is not expensive there is no need to pay a lot of money for it uh, really beautiful beautiful stone it'll help people who have lost their appetite okay it will help people who have had uh, an illness or who've had a surgery to kind of get back on their feet and get you know their energy back it will help people who don't feel good about themselves who've lost their confidence or have low self-esteem as you can see it's a good stone for people but it's a really great stone for animals so if you have a pet for instance that's been sick or is elderly this is a really great stone to work with with them at that sacral chakra this is also a stone if you have a pet who is not eating well Now, I have one dog who is just the pickiest eater ever. My other dog will eat anything in sight, including other people's food and other pets' food. Uh, But the little Pomeranian is so picky, and so this is a stone that's very, very good for him. Now, I wouldn't want the other dog to get exposed to Carnelian because he's already ravenous. So when we come back, I'll tell you a little bit about another stone that can help for the sacral chakra. There are lots of them, actually. Uh, But I wanted to, first off, I I feel like drawing a card right now. I hope I've got time this segment to do that. And I wanted to tell you about this deck um, that I'm using. I've been using... Oh, gosh, we're going to take a break in a minute. I've been using this deck called Crystal Angels. If you don't have it, get a hold of it quickly because I don't think it's going to probably be available that long. I don't know for sure, but this is what my intuition is telling me. Um, It's a deck by Doreen Virtue, and her decks are getting harder and harder to find. It is a more recent deck. But every single card is a different stone or crystal, and they are absolutely gorgeous, and the the messages are just right on. Uh, So I want to tell you about that. When we come back, I will draw a card from this deck for everybody who's listening in. 
And uh, I think we'll go ahead and take a break right now. So I want you to hang around. We'll be right back. I'm Marcia Hebrang, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we'll be back in just a jiffy. Master of words, powerful player. What life-changing words can Dr. Janet Smith-Warfield pull out of her magical toolbox that just might mysteriously open a door you never knew was there? A door to free yourself from fear forever. Transform your rage into right action. Release your guilt. Position you into a life of freedom, purpose, passion, power, and peace. All quite suddenly, unexpectedly, and almost miraculously, with no effort on your part. Join Dr. Janet every Monday at noon Eastern on Dancing with Words, Dancing with Wisdom. On the BBM Global Network, as she and her guests show you how words map our experiences, immersing you in a sound bath that relaxes your muscles, opens your mind, and supports you in co-creating your extraordinary life. Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a passionate book that tells the true story of author Rhonda Knutson's journey through the darkness and adversity of abuse. The book takes readers on an emotional trail from the depths of despair to the heights of forgiveness and understanding. She was inspired to help others, and her book is a vital tool through this process. Faithful to God and devotional to her beacon of hope, Rhonda Knudsen is a perfect example of finding a guiding light that helped her come through the dark and into the light. Her book can assist you in overcoming your challenges with abuse. The publication of Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a triumphant achievement and it can help you take ownership of your own experience of abuse and come through stronger than before. Rhonda is currently working on two more books, Shadows of Corruption and Coast to Coast on a Piece of Toast. To read more about this inspiring author and purchase her books, visit RhondaKnutson.com or go to www.amazon.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings. Coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And I don't know about you, but in North Carolina, it is a beautiful day. The sun is shining and the trees have that beautiful spring green color. And I'm so grateful for the big tall window I have out my office here so that I can see the tall trees and the birds. It's it's a blessing uh, that I'm thankful for every day. If you guys are interested at all in any of the trainings that I do or any of uh, the services that I provide as an angel intuitive and an angelic teacher, you can find my website at www one light center.com o-n-e-l-i-g-h-t-c-e-n-t-e-r.com and my husband and i um, are co-teachers angelic teachers and we're looking at teaching a one-day class in angel card reading and so if you are interested in that that will be an online class so just contact me at my website there's a contact form at the upper right hand side uh, of the website site and you can just shoot me a little email on there and say I'm interested in the online uh, angel card reading class and we would love to have you join us I'll have some more details about that probably on the next show right now I don't have a date set but it won't be too long so back to angel cards here I have this beautiful deck, Crystal Angels, and let's go ahead right now and let's close our eyes and I'm going to say a quick little prayer over these cards, these beautiful cards. Here we go. Great Spirit, Mother, Father, God. Beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, 
spirit helper, spirit teacher, spirit guides of the light, guardian angels. We call you all in and to this place and time for the purpose of providing your loving guidance to each of us listening into the show right now on Spiritual Awakenings, either live or on rebroadcast. Angels, archangels, ascended beings of the light, crystal beings of the light. What do each of us need to know about, be aware of, or do this week for our highest and best good? And we call upon Archangel Gabriel for clear messages. And we are so grateful. And so it is. Amen. And there is our card right there. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this is a beautiful card. I don't think I've ever drawn this one. You guys are way special today, as usual. So the card that I drew from the Crystal Angels Oracle Card Deck is the Ruby the ruby and the ruby is a very very wonderful stone Uh, the ruby is a red stone very deep red and it's considered to be a very uh, precious stone is second only to the diamond in terms of how hard it is very hard to break actually and the ruby uh, symbolizes the fact that we have a strong and healed heart And the ruby is a stone of the heart, and it helps to heal our heart as well as our body and our energy system and our emotions. So now let me tell you the actual message on this card. It's a beautiful golden color on the card, and then there's a a wonderful angel there holding her hands out, and there's this golden light coming, emanating out of her hands and from her crown chakra and the ruby is down below her hands kind of at the heart center and it's very very lovely so the message here is bless your heart reach out at this time for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart and boy oh boy this is right on because I have to tell you I have a lot of people who've been having uh, angel readings and angelic healing lately Um, a lot of people wanting to work with the angels uh, particularly for healing and so I'll tell you a little bit more about this beautiful card the angels say that this card comes to you because your heart needs some TLC, some tender loving care. Um, this is a challenging time living through a pandemic. This is not ordinary times. And so the angels are giving you a hug right now. And your guardian angels want you to know they're right there with you. And they want you, if you feel that you need support, They want you to reach out and not try to handle everything by yourself. We all need others to lean on, don't we? And the angels want you to lean on them as well as if there are people that you trust that you need to get up with. You know, maybe, you know, have a phone call or an email or, you know, go on Skype or something like that. Just talk to your loved ones and tell them how you're feeling. And it may be, you know, if there are deeper issues, talking to a therapist or a counselor or a coach. Um, This card is also suggesting to you right now, that you may want to look at your diet and your your exercise as well. Uh, perhaps you need to get a little bit more exercise if there's a way to do that. Uh, and I know a lot of us are stuck at home, but, uh, you know, putting on a yoga tape or something like that, sitting in front of the TV, do a little yoga, um, do a little running in place, a little exercise, um, just walking around in your yard, you know, getting some sunshine. This card also is a card that is very connected to Master Jesus of 
Nazareth and uh, his sacred heart. And so this is a message for those of you who align with the energy of Master Jesus that he is at hand as well and is guiding you and blessing and healing your heart right now to help you. So that's a really loving card. It's it's full of golden light and of course that beautiful ruby uh, that is, is kind of a cranberry red right on the front of the card. So I'll put this uh, card, a picture of it, as well as the stones that I'm talking about today on the show on my Facebook business page, Messages from Moon. I got last week's card up there. I did better. Uh, so I'm going to hope that I can get this one out there for you, too, so you can see it. So I wanted now to tell you about a couple more stones and crystals for the sacral chakra, but it's time to take a break. So we'll be back shortly. I've got a couple of beautiful stones here to share with you. I'm Marcia Hebrank. You're listening to Spiritual Awakenings, and we're coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and 2 Tune in radio. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to Be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to Be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we're so glad you're here. We're talking about angels and stones and crystals and spiritual healing today. And I have another crystal to tell you about, and this is one of my all-time favorites. You can use this with your pets as well as with yourself. Now, it does align with the same sacral chakra. However, it aligns as well with the solar plexus. Okay, solar plexus is kind of the next chakra up from the uh, uh, sacral chakra. So I want to tell you about this one that I have. I have a beautiful point here, and it is citrine, C-I-T-R-I-N-E, just like citrus in a lemon, and it is lemony yellow. It's easy to remember the name of this stone because it's so beautiful and golden, and this one has a little rainbow inside of it. It's a lovely uh, citrine point that I found in a mine. I went mining for uh, crystals a long time ago. Um, A couple of my kids were with me. We had the biggest blast ever, and I came out of there with this piece of citrine and I was so tickled it's just a beautiful citrine point so citrine 
uh, is one of the stones that um, I have been told, and this was from my teacher uh, back 2003 through 2005, that it's very valued by Native Americans and the tribe that he uh, trained in, trained with, uh, the shamanic teacher that he trained with. And it also, uh, so it's a stone that really helps with physical healing. Uh, helps people to get their vitality back. It brings that golden light in, just like that card I was telling you about before the break. It's all full of golden light. The citrine can bring that beautiful golden energy in. And it also has lots of other great qualities. Citrine can be anywhere from golden brown to orangey white. It really has a lot of variations in its color. Um, But it's lovely, whatever color it is. And the energy of it is really, really sweet. Um, It's a great stone uh, if you are a pet owner and have an animal who is a sensitive, who gets easily overwhelmed by noise and crowds and smells and traffic and those kind of things. It also is great if you're a sensitive yourself. It really can help you to kind of bring it down a little bit in terms of that maybe some oversensitivity. Sometimes we get on overload, don't we? Um, this is a stone that can help people who are having trouble concentrating, uh, can help people who are just on kind of, again, sensory over overload, people who have mental fatigue or pets who have that. Um, it strengthens the immune system, which is really good for us right now, isn't it? As, you know, folks who are trying to stay well, all of us, we are staying well. I'll put that in a more positive way. This is a really great stone for young animals. So like the a friend of mine, a student of mine I was telling you about last week who rescued the little possum baby. Um, this is a great stone for a little possum baby, as well as any other young animals uh, like rescue puppies, rescue kittens. Um, really, really great stone for vulnerable, uh, weak or fading uh, young young babies or young pets. Um, It's a great stone for when you're helping with rescue animals of any age. And uh, I had someone, oh golly, in a session earlier this week, shared a beautiful story with me. Oh my gosh. So she was out walking and this bird was on the beach. It was just laying there. It was absolutely huge. She had no idea what it was. And it was obviously in distress. And she didn't know what to do. I think she had her phone with her. She tried to make some calls to get some help. And ended up calling one of her neighbors. Her neighbor came down and helped her to get the bird into the car. She took it to her house and then was able to get connected with some rescue people because literally the bird was getting ready to get swept away by the ocean and it was clearly ill and not able to fly and uh, long story short that bird was a loon l-o-o-n it was a loon and so it was quite you know beautiful black color and the loon apparently only goes in the water it can't survive on land so she was able to get this bird into a wildlife rehabilitation place where they felt that they could very much get that bird back on its feet back on its wings as the case may be and it had some type of a fungus uh, that was in its system so um, that would be another situation with that wild bird you know that was very stressed physical It'd be a great stone to work with the situation Now, I have one more to tell you about, and again, these are for the sacral chakra. Oh, this is a doozy. You guys have heard me talk about this one on the show before. I think some of you have listened in for a while, but I think it bears repeating. The moonstone is a great sacral chakra stone. Now, I use the moonstone with my clients at the sacral chakra mostly for females and often it is for females who are having issues with hormonal problems or you know problems with their um 
reproductive organs, so the the uterus, you know, uh, the ovaries and things like that. Um, really, really great stone to help with any type of reproductive issues. But the moonstone has many, many other uh, functions. The moonstone is a stone that is connected to Archangel Haniel, H-A-N-I-E-L. And Haniel is an amazing angel. She's connected to intuition, in particular to clairvoyance. And she is also an angel who helps with women's health and especially childbearing and any type of reproductive health. So a really, really great angel, very loving, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Have seen her a number of times, and every time it's a treat when I connect with her. So Moonstone can help if you have a dog or a cat who has had puppies or kittens and they are not bonding well or the mother seems stressed, okay? Or if you're a mother, okay, if you've had a baby or you're pregnant and going to have a baby, this is a great stone to work with. It stabilizes the emotions. It soothes and relaxes you. It can help with the birthing process. It brings a calming effect overall, helps resonate with all female qualities, it helps with digestion, hyperactivity, mood swings, lots and lots of things, helps with nervousness. So as you can see, it's great for pets and for people. So we're going to take a break. When we come back, oh golly, I'm going to talk to you about an angel next. Stay tuned. I'm Marcia Hebrang. This is Spiritual Awakenings, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and we'll be right back. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it global glory that's the work of dr marina mclean coo of global glory whose calling is to serve god a first generation british born londoner of jamaican descent dr mclean inherited the hunger for the word from her father who was a bible teacher growing up her home was filled with missionaries from the caribbean islands and america and she travels the world preaching the gospel She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in Theology and an Honorary Doctorate of Divinity and Christian Counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about Archangel Shamuel. And Shamuel is an angel I feel like really wants to help us all right now. Um... Shamuel, for me, brings in the spirit of peace. And Shamuel is very gentle, 
very loving. Uh, he's kind of tall. I see him with this kind of blondish hair. Uh, just, just very soft and gentle. I do see him as a male angel, but as I've mentioned on the show before, um, Angels are neither masculine nor feminine. They have both masculine and feminine aspects. Uh, so uh, they can really appear to us in either way. But for me, he does show up as a male. And Shamuel is an angel of love and purpose. And the meaning of his name is he who sees God. And he is one of the major archangels. And uh, he has a very, as I said, a very loving, very gentle energy. He loves to bring us support and help us through hard times. And so this is why I just wanted to mention him today as one of the angels that we may want to call in at this time to kind of help us through the changes that we're dealing with right now. Now, Samuel is also one of the angels of manifestation. And someday on one of the shows, I'll talk about manifesting perhaps again. I think I may have done that one time. But he can help us if there's some kind of change we need to make. Perhaps we're looking for a new relationship, a friendship, a uh, love relationship, a marriage. Perhaps we're looking for a different job. I know a lot of people are going to be looking for jobs. Um, Or perhaps we're looking for a car or a house he can help us find exactly what we're looking for and all we have to do is call him in and have a little conversation with him now i kid you not he's very good at this he will really really help you Um, he also can help you to see the divine that exists within yourself He can help you to accept that you are a divine being of love and light. And in so doing, bring a sense of peace and balance. Because when you know that God is within you, the God of your own understanding exists within you in every single moment, in every single day, there is peace that comes from that, in that knowing, in that awareness. Doesn't matter whether you're a religious person or not, you can still have that knowing, and Shamuel will help you to do that. So I thought right now, perhaps we will go ahead and do a meditation and call Shamuel in, and, uh, you know, whoever else perhaps we might like to call in. You never know. Some other angels might show up as well. So let's go ahead right now. And let's just close our eyes. And let's take a long, slow, deep, easy breath in. Breathing in peace and serenity. And breathing out any stress, any tension. Breathing in joy, breathing in peace. And on the out breath, breathe out anything you need to let go of. Send it right on out with your breath. Send it out to the angels, releasing it with love. And see yourself now walking forward on a beautiful, sparkling, golden pathway of light. Coming slowly and gently forward up a little hill coming out into a clearing out into a space of golden light and white light and see yourself coming to the very center of this space this sacred space where only love exists where only healing and peace exist Come to the center of that space. And in this beautiful place, let us call to us right now, Archangel Shamuel. Archangel Shamuel, come down. 
Bless and grace each and every one of us listening into spiritual awakenings right now with your loving presence. And Samuel comes and has this lovely pale green energy. And just like the beautiful spring green trees. And allow yourself to look into that pale green energy. Perhaps look into Samuel's face. Into his eyes. Allow yourself to feel the peace that he brings. Feel the love that he brings. The unconditional love. And to our left now, another angel appears. And this is Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel, we welcome you to come to each of us listening into the show right now. And see yourself now looking into Ariel's beautiful pink energy, pale pink, so soft and lovely. Looking into her face and her energy. And there is so much love for you here with these angels. Allow yourself just to give each of them a hug, to feel their compassion, to feel their peace, to feel your oneness with them and with all that is. And now see yourself telling them goodbye for now, turning and walking slowly and gently back down that golden pathway of light, coming all the way back into this place in time, coming all the way back into your physical body, into here and now, breathing in love and light and breathing out love and light, more whole and more peaceful. And we're going to take a quick little break right now. We'll be back in a jiffy. I'm Marcia Hebrank. This is Spiritual Awakenings live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately three and a half to four million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, an international initiative called Nurse Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the veterans folk-style wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today we're talking about angels and stones and crystals and spiritual healing. If you are interested in just shooting me an email and letting me know what you'd like to hear about on the show or just just tell me what you think about things you can connect with me at marcia hebrank at yahoo.com it's m-a-r-c-i-a-h-e-b-r-a-n-k at yahoo.com and email is definitely the easiest way to get up with me so i welcome hearing from you guys and uh, hearing about what you'd like to hear about on the show 
So back to Archangel Shamuel, who we met in our meditation. I think we could have stayed there a little longer if we could have, but we couldn't. Shamuel is an angel who helps us to see only love in our lives. And so when you're dealing with things like pandemics, when you're dealing with things like being pent up in a house with lots of family members and maybe everybody gets along great and maybe they don't okay Um, this is an angel who can help you cope Uh, really 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 wonderful helper for us in these kind of situations one of my friends was texting me last night about her mother and she was just like my mom is driving me crazy she's stuck in a house with her mom she has little bitty kids um Uh, And her mom is elderly. And I said, you know, instead of getting frustrated, what would happen if you just said, Mom, thank you. I love you. You know, just keep it simple. Keep it short. But what would happen if you just gave her a hug? You know, Uh, and Samuel can help us do that. In fact, here's a little uh, channeling that Kyle Gray got from Shamuel about sending love to a situation. Thank you, Archangel Shamuel and angels, for holding this situation, anyone involved, and myself in the space of love. I surrender it to you and God, knowing you will do the best for everyone's highest good. Actually, that's a little prayer. And here's the uh, another one. I like this one. Thank you, Shamuel, for encouraging me to see the divine in myself and others. As I recognize the divine in everyone, a wave of love washes over my life that creates blessings and abundance. And so it is. Now, I know it's a challenge sometimes to see people as only love to see the love within them when they're being frustrating when they're giving you a hard time but the angels can help you do that and all you need to do is call upon them and Samuel is a number one on the top of my list for doing that he is wonderful so I want to send you guys so very much love And know that you're in my heart and in my mind. And uh, I want to really encourage you to be wise and cautious and aware about keeping yourself very safe at this time, uh, given what's happening on the planet right now with the pandemic. Keep yourself safe. Use your good mind. Use your intuition. And by all means, call upon the angels to help you come through this with, uh, you know, in the best shape possible. So, sending you much love, wishing you many, many, many blessings. Om Namaste. You've been listening to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrank. Join us each week as we discover and explore how angels, spirit guides, and spirit teachers through their guidance can nurture, heal, and balance our lives on Marsha Hebrank's Spiritual Awakenings. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company. 